Hello again, and in this video we are going to be looking at while loops. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, create a new Java class as always. Um, we'll just call this main um, and we'll just create a new um, main method. So PSVM just to create our new um, main method um, in our project. And yeah, let's have a look at um, loops, um, while loops. Um, so basically, um, while loops um, allow us to repeat um, codes or blocks of codes um, over and over, usually until a certain condition um, is met. Okay, so basically, as long as a certain condition is true, um, then the code um, repeats and repeats. Um, so the while loop will repeat through a block of code um, as long as the specific condition remains uh, true. Um, so it repeats the statement um, over and over, but it should eventually stop um, as soon as the condition is no longer true. Okay, so it's not an infinite loop. Um, it is a while loop which repeats usually on a temporary basis until a certain condition or while a certain condition is met. Okay, um, so this here is the uh, general format of a while loop, okay? So it's the keyword while, and then in brackets, the condition, okay? And then in the curly brackets that come after that, um, the statement or statements um, that you keep wanting to repeat um, again and again. So let's have a quick look at a while loop. Um, so what I'm going to start off with here is I'm just going to start off with an integer uh, just called number. Okay, so just an integer called number. And we're going to initialize this number at zero. Okay, so um, this number is uh, going to count up, okay, using a while loop. Okay, so we'll just put a little comment in there just saying uh, count up using a while loop. Okay, so we've got this number, it's an integer, and we have initialized it at zero. So, nice example of a loop is we could say while, and then open round brackets. So, while the number is less than 10, keep repeating this code inside of these uh, curly brackets okay so what we're going to do over and over is we're going to repeat the statement system out print line okay we're going to send the number to the screen okay and we're going to keep repeating this and each time this statement loops we are also going to increment the number by one, okay? So number equals number plus one, okay? So let's see what happens. So we've got the integer number, we're assigning it initially at zero, and then while the number is less than 10, we are going to print out number is, and then what the number currently is, okay? So it's gonna start at zero, um, and then we're gonna keep adding one or incrementing the number by one. So let's um, just run this code, okay? And then we'll uh, have a quick look at the logic behind this in a bit more detail. Okay, so let's run the code and have a look at the results in the console. So I'm just gonna make the console a bit bigger just to see the results that we have. So we have the number is zero, okay? So we initialize the number at zero, okay? So that's expected and our condition is that as long as or while the number is less than 10, keep system out print line, okay, or keep printing out um, the string the number is plus what the uh, number is currently set at. So initially the first time um, the code loops, the number will be zero, um, but um, within the loop we're also incrementing the number by one, okay. So the next time the number loops, Okay, the condition is still true. So even though the number will be equal to one at this stage um, or two or three, the number 
is still less than 10. Okay, so that'll keep repeating up to nine. But the second that the number reaches 10, um, the loop stops. Okay, so the condition is no longer true because the number is no longer less than 10 and the condition will just um, stop. So let's um, just put a few comments into this code. Okay, so we are declaring number variable. Okay, it's an integer. We are setting the number initially at zero. Okay, okay, this is our condition. Okay, so as long as the number is less than 10, okay, print out, send it to the console, print out what the number currently is, okay, and then add one onto the number. Okay, and we keep repeating that again and again um, until the number reaches 10, at which point the condition is no longer true and the program stops. So we can obviously change this if we wanted to include 10 in our count, okay, we could say while the number is less than or equal to 10, okay, we'll just change our comments. So less than or equal to, okay, so let's run this again. Okay, and we get zero to 10 this time. Um, and we can also um, add a small statement after, okay, after the loop, saying the loop is done. Okay, so just to confirm that the loop is finished. Okay, so zero to 10, and then the loop is done. Okay, because the condition is no longer true, and you've exited out of that loop. So that is the basic uh, syntax and a basic demonstration of a loop. Very useful um, in Java. Um, we tend to use them a lot um, in Java. We're going to be doing more examples um, in the next few videos. And um, yeah, that's about it. I hope that was useful. Keep practicing. Um, keep practicing um, your loops. Um, Practice makes perfect. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching this video. I hope it was useful and we'll see you again very soon. Thanks again and bye for now.